Welcome back to another episode of Small Town Big Ideas. I'm your host, Mr. Igo. Uh, we have a loaded podcast table today, uh, so I'll, we'll just get straight to introducing and getting people uh, familiar with the podcast. So we're going to start over here with Alec. Alec, uh, a quick update from the last time we were on. Literally anything. Um, Audio format. Okay, yeah. Um we, we won a basketball game. There you oh, go. Okay, you did win one basketball game. Uh, how many points did you score? Six. That's more than I scored. Six more than I scored, actually. Uh, Ireland. Holy cow, you guys are dead today. Give me something. I'm trying to think. I've been up since That's like tough. four. All right? Why? I don't want Because I kept thinking about my alarm that was going to go off at five. That's the worst. Oh, I ate breakfast today, unlike last time. There you go. What do you have for breakfast? Breakfast is my favorite food. I wow. had a granola bar. That's it. That's breakfast is a granola bar? Yeah. That's a snack, bro. Get it out well, of here. Well, that's what I ate. What type of granola bar? A chocolate chip one. Was it like... What do you mean a chocolate chip one? What Just a talk? regular one. Move on. I, you guys are terrible <laughs> today. There's like no energy in you. Anyways, sorry. Is, are you intimidated by them over there right now? No. You are too. I could tell all three of I you. I could take this guy. It's easy. Okay, Trent, give um, me something. Uh, I got a concert tonight for Christmas. We all do. Yeah, yeah we all have We're going to sound so beautiful. In fact, I do as well. Yeah, I was Trent's going to sing so loud. I got a. Uh, do you have it? Just like that. Are you going to announce for. Us, like, yeah, what are you area. doing? No, yeah, we heard you have like a. <laughs> we heard you're part. in it, but we don't exactly know what you're doing. I'm doing Ryland's part, I think. Yeah, the narration. Yeah, what? but like what? what? The narration part through the middle of a song. Yeah. They like <laughs> scream in a song. I can hear it. Every <laughs> I am not screaming at all. No, like the worry. band. Like, I think Jace has that covered. Yeah, I can always. Hear I honestly that don't know what I, I got myself them. signed up for yesterday. Uh, Miss yeah. Harold just asked because Ryland's like sick. You probably shouldn't have said, said yes. Yeah, he's been wearing a mask around. Like, bro, if you're sick, go home. Hey, man, he brother. Is, he, no, man. But also, like, uh, I have no idea what I'm doing tonight at this concert. So, yeah, you'll be fine. It could go really poorly. It, it probably will. The just band don't also mess up. <laughs> too bad. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, and then we have two special guests on who just walked into the classroom because they're doing a state officer visit. Uh, so I'll let them introduce themselves quickly. Yeah, my name's Summit Browning, and I'm this year's state FFA first vice president. Kind of a fun fact about me. I'm the owner of S Bar B Cowboy Coffee, so you better get some. What if I'm not a coffee guy? I will change your mind. It's oh, okay. Yeah, just salesman. just try the coffee. What if you just got on the podcast and didn't plug your business? Um, I couldn't do that. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's not a good business person yeah, if they're exactly. not plugging their there business. Trent. So I noticed you didn't plug your business. I'm businessless. Businessless? Yeah. I don't think that's in the dictionary. T.L. Goat Co. Hit me up. Okay. Uh, uh, welcome, Summit. Uh, then we have another state officer here with us as well. Yeah, my name is Emily Coles, and I'm this year's state secretary. Uh, Hailing from where? Uh, Roundup. Oh, Roundup. Used to be Melstone. Could be so. Corvallis. Roundup used to be Melstone? Oh, I used to be Melstone. Oh, you used to be all of Melstone? Oh, yep. Jeez, Melstone's really gone downhill then since you left. <laughs> uh, Roundup and Melstone Summit, you're from? Uh, I was from the Gardner. All right, let's give some shout-outs to some ag teachers because that's what I actually care about at the end of the day. So shout-out to? Ooh. Miss Hoppy. Miss Hoppy. Miss Hoppy was my ag teacher when I was in high school. Twinsies. Yeah, twinsies. Uh so, but she's uh, she likes her new students a lot more, and she liked her old students. Miss Hoppy didn't like me back in the day. That's I'm lying. She did like me. I'm going to say that. She'd be really mad. But first, a word from our sponsors. Life happens. Coffee helps. S. Barbie Cowboy Coffee is roasted by Summit Browning, a Montana FFA state officer who is passionate about FFA and agriculture. A portion of all sales goes to support FFA and agriculture. Get your coffee today online at sbarbcowboycoffee.com. More than us. Mm, who knew? Mm. Uh, okay, so uh, it's Christmas time. I don't know if you guys knew that. Uh, Alec, real quick, what's your favorite Christmas song? Is that you, Santa Claus? Is that you, Santa Claus? He played that in class the other day. I'm not sure. Uh, Trent, what's yours? Up on the housetop. 
Ireland. I'm just going to go with Jingle Bells. Everybody knows it. Jingle Bells is not your favorite. You're so Christmas. unoriginal. It, it is get very, out of here. If someone said, like, let's get to the Christmas spirit, you're saying, all right, let's get the Jingle Bells going. <laughs> yep. Not a chance. All right, what are your guys' favorite Christmas songs? I love Christmas music so much. The Last Christmas I Gave You My Heart song. Oh, that's that's, good. that's like the most basic girl song. Like Which version favorite? of it? Because there's a correct answer to this now. I didn't know there was more than one. Mariah Carey. No. Mariah no, 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 no. Carey does All I Want for Christmas. Is and she has more Christmas songs. And but she is like Last so Christmas, there is a specific person that what? put I out a Christmas question. album with six songs on it. Taylor Swift. Come on! No. Yes. She just stole that song. At uh, 100%, but her version is the version you hear in the store all the time. Taylor's yeah, and she needs to leave. Yeah. Taylor's version. It, how dare you? That's yeah. insulting. Yeah, we're moving on from that comment. Well, yeah. <laughs> Summit, what's your favorite Christmas song? Um, I like the Chris Ledoux Country Christmas album. I honestly am not a huge Christmas guy, but if it's sang by Chris Ledoux, it doesn't matter what it is. It's right. acceptable. You're allowed to be wrong. Whatever. Um, my favorite Christmas song, it's kind of hard. It's usually a Christmas hymn. I grew up going to Christmas service at church and stuff, and so th- that stuff really means a lot to me. O Come, O Come, Emmanuel is my favorite song. But oh, then that's a banger. The second one is definitely Mariah Carey's, because when that song comes on, you can't help but belt it out every that single time. That one is pretty like that's It's sad. just like in everybody's it, mind. And it gets overplayed, there's no doubt, but man. That song is good. Uh, but it's Christmas time, and that means it's the end of the year, which means uh, we have some top songs of the year. Um, so let's real quick go through what the top songs of let 2023 were. Because we already know it. From you now. already did know it. So let's see if you guys can guess. You have one guess. If you can get in the top ten, you will become a free sponsor of the podcast. I will display your information, whatever you want. You just have to get one song correct in the top 10 of the Spotify 2023 top 10. Oh, tough. There's a lot at stake here Yeah, it's now. not that hard. We did it. Something in the orange. No. Oh, oh no, it's, it's it's all of 2023, oh, not Christmas. She gets her spot as a sponsor. Congratulations, oh, Emily. Oh, now That the, song was overplayed and now it's bad. It was. It was I, I yeah. mean, it's all right. Uh... Richmond, north of Richmond. Uh, oh, oh no. you would have. That was such a big song this summer. But no. Didn't even make the top 25. Think about the 25. entire U.S. Didn't even make the top Children. 25. Uh, just Wait, didn't we do artists, not songs? We did artists and songs. But um, I'll give you one more guess, Summit. Something from T-Swift. Oh, that'd probably be a good guess. I don't know anything from T-Swift. Oh, well, then you, uh, <laughs> even if he doesn't, don't tell I that. just for that, this man's earned my respect. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, okay. Well, that's really unfortunate for you. Uh, the top song this year was last night by Morgan Wallen. Uh, that was everywhere for a little bit. Bleh. Yeah. That also got overplayed. Yeah. Okay. And then number two was kill bill by. SZA? Is that uh, who it is? That one yeah. sucks. I gotta be real careful about playing some of these songs because there's gonna be something I eventually have to bleep. Talks about um that oh, yeah. I'm not talking to say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you can't say it, probably good. Uh number three, this one's kinda left over from last year a little bit. Uh, Flowers. No, by this Cyrus. is so bad. I This artist has like the worst voice. It's like smoker voice. Yeah. Honestly. Alex she was, Alex she was good, good when there. she was young, but is hot take. that song hot is take. so bad. That song is Guys, like... I kind of got a crush on Miles Cyrus. That kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. No, she that. was way better when she was younger, but... And now that song is just, like, not good. Well, it, I, I mean, don't know. You, all these songs were... You heard them so much, right? Like, we just heard them over and over and over and over. Uh, it doesn't and, mean they were good. They were I'd just popular. Not yeah. uh, I've never heard of this next one. Ella Bela Sola. Oh, I feel like I've heard that. Uh, that one just wasn't real popular in Weibo. Probably not uh, in the U.S. That's like, like what Ellie Internationally, was though. No, that was the top tracks of popular. in the U.S. Really? Yeah, oh. it sure was. Uh, here is an absolute jam for Trent, though. I'm going to be careful about it. Boy's a liar. That boy's a, yeah, Ice Spice. Maybe 
Was that a Trent song this summer? No. Yeah, it was. it was. Don't lie to me. You and Guz. Absolutely. You guys vibed to that when we were going to State FFA convention last spring. Did we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Uh, Gus and I, did Gus and I even ride together to State last year? No. I don't know. It was yeah, a long we time did. ago. We did. Uh, the next one is where Summit was getting the hint from Emily. Uh, cruel Summer. That's yeah. what I thought. You bet. Good song. Uh-oh. No, I clicked off this. That's because of uh, the, like, Aerosaur all happened this year. The air is too. Oh, man, I kind of wanted to go to that deal. Yeah, that was like mm-hmm. all over TikTok. Did you for, go like, watch the, the movie? Time. Yeah, they made a movie. I did not, but I'm really sad that I haven't gone yet. Yeah, I go to Have you go watch. I did not. I, and That's like, good. I probably honestly would watch it not in the movie theater because I saw TikToks of it in the movie theater and it, people were treating it like an act, absolute concert like an actual concert no, you have to dress up do the yeah I see I'm out like I love you to T Swift but I'm out well, uh, it's the whole experience for thirteen dollars fun I fact get, I would at J Day I, I was blasting Taylor Swift out of his room at like seven a.m. absolutely yeah. was that's a good wake up song though that line whatever uh, something in the orange is the next one. This one was way overplayed. I feel like this was left over from last year, too, though. Yeah. It came out like 20. But it's kind 21. of a vibe song if you're just like bopping down no. like no. a back road or no, something. No, it's too, it got used too much. It's depressing. For like Sitting two years in a row. Fire, it's perfect. I don't disagree uh, with you. Yeah. Uh, so that was number seven. Number eight was You Proof with Morgan Wallen. He was had two in the top ten this year, and then he shaved his head. Everything yeah, went downhill. I don't know why he did that. When he got rid of his uh, mullet, you didn't like that. He wanted yeah. to look like Caillou, I think. Uh, <laughs> Creeping with the weekend and Twenty One Savage. I know I can't play hardly any of that song, so I'm just not going to. That was number eight. Um, the number nine was uh, Anti Hero by T Swift. T Swift and Morgan Wall, the only two artists with two in the top ten. Uh, and then Tyler, the creator, with an explicit song that I can't play either to round out the top ten. Um, Wait, which other one did Taylor have? Antihero. Oh. Antihero and Cruel Summer. You um, play a clip. <sighs> okay, you got it. we got stuff yeah. to do, man. <laughs> what, yeah, we're going to talk mean? about Tunisia. We've got... I don't know. That's just the part it went to. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> Come on. I went downhill fast. That's the random part it went to. Uh, music is a big part of my life, but I can honestly say I wouldn't. I didn't listen to hardly any of those songs this you year. You know what I listened to? Big 90s country guy. The Laney Wilson concert. Ooh, Laney Wilson concert at the National Convention was fire. As so good. Um, so then let's move on to our next topic because uh, it probably is more relevant and that it was kind of fun to look some of this stuff up. So the four of us looked at countries from around the world, and we found out information about their agriculture, but also their Christmas traditions. And so uh, I'll start here with Botswana. Uh, Alec, for 100 points, podcast points are redeemable at the end of the year, by the way. For 100 podcast points, what continent is Botswana located in? It's not that hard. Asia. Wrong. Ooh. Trent, for a million podcast points. Africa. I wow. would do that because you said a that. A million and I was podcast you points. Wow. How did you get that wrong? Such a good. Well, I don't know. That I was impressive. Um, I forgot it. The capital of Botswana, as I, it's going to be hard to pronounce. Uh, it's Gabor, Gaboror or something like that. I should have looked up the pronunciation. Uh, the population is 2.4 million. Uh, Botswana is one of those African nations that a lot of the people survive on subsistence farming. And so there's 63,000 farms, um, a lot of small family type deals. Um, Only 112 of them are more than 150 hectares. Hectares, you asked me earlier, what is a hectare, Ireland? How they measure. How they measure. Everywhere else in the world but the states. Ah, yes, because we have to be different, right? All right, state officers, here's your ag trivia question. How many hectares... Or how many acres in a hectare? Let's do it that way because that's the easier way for me to remember. I had to look it up to remember, but from my agronomy days back in high school, I remembered it. Is it 100? Ooh, Emily? 
150. I'm putting you guys on front street. Sorry about that. Uh, two and a half acres to one hectare. Uh, wow. That's just how it goes. Uh, that's all right. We don't use it in America, so I'm not really concerned about it. So if there is uh, only 112 farms that have more than 150 hectares, that's uh, like 200-something acres, which in Weibo, Montana, 200-something acres – Ain't that big a deal? No. Um, we're talking operations. We talk like sections. Thousands. Yeah, we talk sections out here. How many acres in a section, Trent? 364. Just 60. Wow, that was a real specific number that's nowhere close to the correct number. <laughs> My bad. Anybody know it off the top of their head? How many acres in a section? Maybe it's 260. It's Ooh, so close. Something was 60. Flip those two first numbers. Six. 640 acres oh, in a section. Wow. Uh, so we have the average farm size is very small in Botswana. 46% of the land is in agriculture. Only 5% of it's actually suitable for cultivation. How do they irrigate in Botswana? They don't. They do. Oh. They wait for rain. rain. Wait for rain. So in the United States, we call that what type of farming? Dry land farming. Dry land farming. So do a lot of dry land farming. Roots and tubers are the main crops out there. Pulses and sorghum. We've got a lot of pulses and sorghum in Montana. I have no idea what those any of those words mean. Sorghum's kind of like a it's kind of like a corn type deal, but it's used for livestock feed and for sweetener a lot of the time. Pulse crops, think like peas and things. Um, so a lot of a lot of crops that can be utilized for protein. Uh, top livestock. What do you think the top livestock in Botswana is? Goats. Ah, chickens. Five million chickens in Botswana. 30% of the labor is in agriculture, and they are the top diamond producer in the world. I just thought that was kind of interesting. That's almost as many chickens as Jace's house. <laughs> yeah, Jace has a lot of chickens. Jace be having lots of chickens. And he has a chicken tie and chicken socks and a chicken shirt. Multiple chicken shirts. Yes. Yeah, that kid be loving chickens. Uh, the Christmas traditions in Botswana. Botswana actually has a lot of the same things as the Western uh, world because of the way colonialization happened but we won't get into that uh christmas traditions include church and meals gift giving and singing they love beef and goat on christmas they'll usually slaughter something because in america in the northern hemisphere it's winter right now but in the southern hemisphere what is it Summer. it's hot as heck down there during christmas um so it's kind of a different deal they don't even really put up trees i saw uh rice well, where would they get them honestly where would they get a pine tree I mean, it doesn't have to be a... a cur- <laughs> You're going to get one of them squiggly trees. Trent, do the you squiggly think, trees. Do, do, <laughs> do you trees. think in Southern California that they celebrate Christmas? Yeah. Okay. Do they have a ton of pine trees in Southern California? Well, they can grab the plastic ones. I'm oh. not so sure. They how, many, <laughs> how many pine trees do they have in Southern California? Not many, but they get it from throughout the U.S. I get that. But what trees do you think they put stuff on for Christmas? They put them on pine, or not pine trees. What do they put them on? Cedars. Fake ones. The palm, palm trees. Palm trees. They oh, decorate yeah. all sorts of oh, trees. Oh, yeah, I've seen those. A Christmas tree doesn't have to be a pine tree. Yes, it does. If you're, <laughs> you're going to bring it inside, it has to be a pine tree. It doesn't. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just a tree. Anyways. People around Weibo, Montana don't have a pine tree. They just go get a bush or something. Like a cedar, yeah. Yeah. I know some people that go cut them down. That's a lot of work. I've seen somebody cutting. Oh, down good down night. You can go uh, 20 bucks. They call Santa Claus the father. Uh, hmm. So just like Father Christmas type deal. And they celebrate on December 25th. Um, not that different than us. Other than then, the country looks a little different. It's a different time, uh, a different season right now. All right, who's going next? Let's get some. I will. Let's get some, uh, yeah, Europe. Belgium. Ooh, Belgium. Belgium's like Germany, but they have the opposite flag. Fun fact. That's what they're known for. If you type that in yeah. to Google, what is Belgium I swear known all for? the countries got met together, and they've got like four flag templates around the world, and they just like rotated them. Like the, like the British flag. <laughs> what does, does that just, mean? They just put it in the corner, and then they come up with something. Yeah. What does that mean? Lines. Look, so like, about, like, look at all the change. flags it's like throughout like the world. But you don't Literally. do it right. Like you change like a couple things, so it's like. like there's quite a so few it's that original. Yeah. But that one. They all look the same, yeah. All like most of the flags. I think there's like six different varieties, and then just interchange colors. Yeah, and a couple of lines thrown in here, and then the flag will just be like in the corner, and there's yeah, more lines. Huh? How about that. Okay. okay. Anyways, the capital. Is, <laughs> the capital is Brussels. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The population of Belgium is 11.59 million people. 
We got 35,000 farms. Average farm size is 38.7 hectares. So how many acres is that? I forgot. Um, Two and a half times. 38.7. I don't know. Um, (laughs) (laughs) The math is not our strong suit. 44% of Belgium is farmland, and their top crops are sugar beets, chicory, flax, and potatoes. Did you look up what chicory is? I didn't know what it was. I didn't know either. Did you look it up? No, I didn't. Okay, so you still don't know what it is. I still don't know what it is. Uh, Do you guys know what chicory is? You should know because this is it's a direct competitor to you. It's like tea. It's like a bitter, yeah. It's like a bitter leaf that they use in place of coffee. So you could expand into the uh, northern chicory European business. market with the chicory business. Nothing beats a good coffee bean. I don't know. Nothing Roasted beats by mm, good. Oh. Do Look you grow your coffee beans? Chicory, I do not know. Oh, so he's not, he's Gardner, Montana, he's been growing yeah. them coffee beans in the Gardner. <laughs> Top livestock, it's sheep, poultry, turkeys, and pork. You're just going to move on from that yeah. <laughs> before I roast you? Yeah. Kind of like a coffee? <laughs> Go home. Please. End me up. Christmas. Okay. Christmas <laughs> in Belgium. Kids but huge. What, what was I saying? Oh, my bad. I have everything merged together. My bad. Kids put shoes outside on December 5th, and St. Nick fills them with candy, provided they've been good. What happens if you aren't good? Don't they just any. don't get anything. It's They're, like coal and like no, they stocking. don't. They don't get coal. Like, they just don't, don't get, get anything. You just get cold shoes. Parents yeah. tricked like their little kid. They put like some coal on top of all the stuff. He takes the coal. He's like, I got like a rock, Dad. And he's like, yeah, it's cold. You've been bad. He's like, no, I've been good. He checks the rock across the floor. And then goes over to the Christmas tree and yanks it down. What are you talking about? I think he's talking about yesterday when he was mad that his dad gave him coal. Oh, well. No, I, I've, I've seen this. Anyways. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought we were getting a personal story from Alex. No, no. Um, I didn't and know. also, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, he says. On Christmas, they have huge feasts with all their extended family, and they meet up at an older relative's house. Okay, so like just like us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, their common Christmas foods are stuffed turkey, fish, and a wild game. Okay, so just like us. Yes. Okay. Move on. Uh, they celebrate <laughs> Christmas on, I guess they did the shoe thing on the 5th and then just the 25th. Like they just the leave their shoes out for 20 days? Or no. is it like no, on the 5th? On the 5th overnight. Or they just, <laughs> imagine just waiting. Yeah, I just sit there like, oh, man, I wish I had some shoes right now, but I guess I'll wait till Christmas. No. Just overnight you on the 5th? I forgot what they call Santa. St. Nick. I already told, I, I, we've been over this. Nuh-uh. In the I might have interrupted traditions. him. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> Talking about shoes. He does that sometimes. You ever heard that song, Christmas Shoes? It's so sad. Oh, my no, gosh. No, it's... I cry every Could day. I buy some shoes? You guys got to go listen to it. Just like that. I don't think I it's like a real cringy Christmas song. <laughs> it's so sad. It, it's sad. But the first time you ever hear it, you're just like, my God, why, why did anybody write this? Mm. Ah! Oh, that's uh, that would be time. Well, uh, can we just like not go? Oh well, no. I but we are going to finish this podcast. Hurry up. Okay, I have Tunisia. Okay. Uh, the capital is Tunis. Uh, the Tunis. Pop- the population is twelve point twenty six million. Uh, what did you? What are you? What do you have wrote down? My information trend. Yeah, more than less half. That's the way I thinks. The average farm size, um, more than half of them have less than five hectares. That's what Mr. Igo told me to write down. Trend. Mm. Um, number of farms, um, they don't really know. Most are very small. Yeah, there's not a lot of information about Tunisia farming. Yeah. Yeah. Darn. Um, the total land, more than 10 million hectares. Um, they got lots of olives, wheat, barley, tomatoes, almonds. Dates. They got lots of it. Olive is their number Trent. one. Uh, for and 7 Atlas. million podcast points, Summit, how, where is Tunisia located? What continent? 7 million podcast points. That's a lot. They don't mean anything. Oh, they do. Well, I know it's not Antarctica. Okay. So like, well, I'm going to go with... Good process of elimination. Uh, I don't know. Africa, question mark? 7 million podcast wow. points. Look He's in the that. lead now. Trent's just mad you have more podcast points than him. Yeah, definitely. Anyways, top livestock are chickens, horses, and pigs. 
They yep. eat horses? Uh, <laughs> that's not what she said. <laughs> I said top livestock. Yeah, livestock generally being animals. No. Oh, uh, no. Trent, why are you so dumb? Dairy cows are if, livestock too. Dude, if we got... If, They're not eating Then why horses. don't we judge horses when we do livestock judging? Because there's a horse them. judging contest. Just put it in livestock then because horses you are livestock. Preach it to the choir to me. I hate horse judging. <laughs> Sign me up. If I didn't have to do anything with horses ever, I'd Just be quit incredible. Just quit yapping. Anyways. You quit yapping. Undo our Christmas traditions. They work on Christmas. And they decorate the trees just like us, hang mistletoes, and exchange gifts, and have big feasts. Yep. Mm. And they have seven course meals with cold fish, and the main dish is couscous. Horse. Oh. Couscous? What is couscous? It's like, it's like a, I don't know, it had a picture, like a, it's like rice. soup. It's not right. It's like grits. Like, if you've ever been to Texas and you get grits, it's what couscous is like, but less, uh. like, soupy. Dude, that's gross. Yeah, they Soupy just, grits? Bro, shrimp and oh, grits. Yeah. Look it up. <laughs> <laughs> grits is gross in the first shrimp place. And grits, yeah, it's so like good. soup and it's like orange. Cheesy but. grits? You put butter in them too? No, oh, oh, dude. Yeah. When shrimp. I so grew up in Texas for a long time, still hate grits. Like, no, someone wants the grits for my plate, go ahead, take them. Don't need it. Grits are nasty. Don't need them. All right. Here we go. Denmark. Wait, we'll wrap it up. Oh, sorry, Ireland. They call Santa Santa and they celebrate December 25th. They call Santa Santa. They're just like us, but they work on Christmas. Yeah, basically. No, thank you. All right, you're wrapping it up with Denmark. My country is Denmark. Capital is Copenhagen. Population, um, 775,000. Nope, that wasn't it. Remember, it was like 5.6 million? Uh, yeah, you yeah, did the capital. Point. Yeah, Copenhagen has 700-something yeah. thousand. Okay. 5.6 million for the population of okay. Denmark. Number of farms, five, 305,000. That's just 35,000. Yeah, okay, 35,000. <laughs> chill out. Well, like. Average size of the farm, 75 hectares. Total land and agriculture, 206 million hectares. Tap crops, wheat and barley. Top livestock, dairy cattle, pigs, and poultry. Christmas tradition. Big feast, presents following that. Mm -hmm. um, Christmas food, roast pork, duck boil, boiled duck. Ugh. No, it's just, just duck. Boiled potatoes, red cabbage, gravy. <laughs> okay. Boiled potatoes and duck, not boiled duck. <laughs> not boiled. Okay. No, not <laughs> boiled duck. <laughs> boiled duck. <laughs> Have you guys ever had duck before? No. No. And yes. I don't want to. It's like a really it wasn't greasy bad. chicken. I had a turduck in once. So you did not. I did. That's a real thing. It's a real I've thing. heard of it. It's a real thing. So explain what it is. Okay, so it's a turkey, uh -huh. and they shove a duck inside the turkey, uh -huh. and they shove a chicken inside the duck. Uh -huh. You cook it I, all I've at once. That. I've heard that it's disgusting. It's pretty mediocre at best. Yeah. yeah, like a lot of effort and a lot of putting turkeys into other animals or it's, whatever. It's expensive. It's almost yeah. impossible to cook all the way through without burning the turkey. 100%. Well, and yeah, it's just pretty... It's mediocre at best i would say why would you why would anybody do that because well, you got to try it why it's a turducken <laughs> no you don't have to there's no reason why i need to put a duck inside a turkey and then a chicken inside a duck sounds are great. you curious no not at all not the slightest what if we did this with other animals it actually kind of tasted about as good as taylor swift can sing all right you need to <laughs> 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 I don't know which microphone that one is, but I'm going to start turning it down when you talk. <laughs> Christmas traditions. Um, they call Santa the Christmas man. The Christmas man? Yeah. Santa Claus is way cooler. Well, something else. Um, when they celebrate Christmas on the 24th, otherwise known as Christmas Eve. Why do they not celebrate it on the 25th? Maybe they got something going on that day. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're all just busy that day, Mr. Rago. They all got other stuff happening in their lives. They can't just celebrate every day. He says they got just let the Denmark on. people live how they want to live. Denmark is on my bucket list for countries. Why? Oh, it sounds awesome. Like Denmark and like Copenhagen and Seems all so like basic. Northern, no. no, like Denmark and Sweden and Finland, those all, nah. I would love to go there. I'm okay. 
Okay, Belgium. You want to go to Belgium? I do not. I do. Just like a knock Actually, I really want to go to all of Europe. We didn't get to pick the places. We spun a wheel. Got, like, you did spin the wheel. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, we didn't get a pick. We spun a wheel. All right. Well, we better get you guys to class. Thanks for no, joining please, us. And please don't. No, we got to go to class. Sorry. Uh, people are still probably like packing up their, I mean, like getting out their instruments. They take like 10, like 20 I'm not as concerned about you. <laughs> yeah. I'm more concerned about other people. Plus, we have a workshop we have to get to. Also, well, I'm probably going to get you guys out of third hour here so don't worry about it um, well, i just do us? nothing i just sit there i'm just studying yeah, sit there now. you probably because we have state officers here to do the workshop so uh we'll end this podcast find us on small town big ideas on facebook uh youtube spotify wherever you find your favorite podcast deuces Small Town Big Ideas, a project of the Weibo FFA chapter. You can rate and review this show on Apple Podcasts, and you might find your review read on a future episode. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to Small Town Big Ideas on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever your favorite podcasts are downloaded.